Stop here. Here. Mom, oh. Let us go inside, Marcus. First, I want to see how my farm looks. I found them all over the paddy. They must have had all night to wander. They're breaking out through the wire. No, through the gate, I think. No wonder the catch is loose. You must always check it, Bruno. Always. Now, all the money from the Christmas sales we have lost. It was my fault, Marcus. I leave the gate open. I think Ebenezer Blitz will get the fox. He knows where the lairs are. How he know the right one? The boys just tell him. No, Dad. He's not really crazy at all once you get to know him. He's a beauty, isn't he, Dad? Should be bigger by now. You're feeding them properly. Yes, Dad. Come, you are tired. It is only your first day. Tired? I'm not tired! Well, there's that. That came loose in that big storm. We just... We uh... wait to ask you what to do. It's a good job Bruno does. Doesn't look like a good job to me. I, I know it looks a bit patchy. But it's waterproof, all right. We both got up on the roof and checked it. We? Who is we? Eddie Burke gave me a hand. I couldn't have done it. Um... Eddie Burke! Come, Marcus. We will talk later. Lottie! Come back, Lottie! Please, Marcus, you must rest. You know what Mutter Schubert said. Why is Eddie Burke visiting my house behind my back? What is he doing on my roof? He climbed up on the roof to help Bruno fix it. Mm, so I suppose it was Bruno brought him over. You didn't even know about it. Yes, of course I knew about it. He's been helping Bruno with a lot of things, and you... We all ought to be grateful. Lottie. Oh, it's true, Mum. He's done nothing but find fault in poor Bruno ever since he arrived home, and now he's starting on Eddie. Go to your room, go. Don't worry, I'm going. I will explain later. Bruno? Can I borrow your bike? Why? I need to talk to Eddie. Dad will murder you. Yeah, I don't care. He's in bed snoring his head off. We'll be back before tea. Thanks. Be careful with it, Lottie! We must all be understanding until your father is well again. Sometimes he says things he does not mean. It does mean them, Mum. When he wake up, I will tell him it was me who asked Eddie to the house. And tomorrow, you must tell him you are sorry you speak to him that way. Mum, I want to go away for a while. Go away? Magda's cousin in the Barossa. She's having a baby. She needs someone to help in the house. But it is such a long way. The, the Barossa is such a long way away. Fritz said he'd drive me in his car. Come on, you don't need us all here now when it's getting older. No, 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 everything will be all right, I promise. I've made up my mind, Mum. I've got to go. 
No, no, no. I will talk to your father about Eddie. When he understands how you feel. Not just that, Mum. If Eddie really wanted to marry me, he'd go to Dad and ask him himself. But he won't. He's too scared. Someone's got to stand up to Dad. Don't you see that? And you were in bed. Yes, Mum. It'll be all right, Mum. It is you she is most like. More than all the others. She is the one who take after you. Pillars out to my eye. can't get comfortable like this. Both of you are the same. That is why you are always fighting. Not like that, woman. Like what then? Like what you want, huh? Just think, Laura. Here you are, a beautiful maiden, about to be sacrificed to save the town from the dragon. And suddenly you... Nice of you to turn up, Bruno. I didn't think we'd see you again this term. You still proposing to be in the play? Yes, Miss Nutley. I'm sorry. Well, you'll have to be the prologue. Do you think you can spare us the time to learn your lines? I will, Miss Nightly, honest. Well, you make sure you do. Now, listen to me, ye people, and lend a friendly ear, for I tell a tale. Oh, Mr. Cleaves! Look! You trapped it! What a whopper! I bet that's him, Mr. Blitz. I bet that's the killer. I'll be fine. You look after Mum, all right? Take it. Goodbye, Bye, Mum. Bye. Goodbye, Mrs. Gunter. Bye, Bruno. Right ride every single day. I will. For the killer. I think Mr. Blitz is trapped in Mr. Hines. It was this big, honest. That size only. And in one go, he gets all your mother's turkeys. Do you think it was more than one fox, then? You still seeing Ebenezer Blitz in the hills? Sometimes. Why don't you ask him where his dog was on that night? I'm sure it wasn't him, Mr. Hines. Sure? Why are you so sure? He loves that dog. He calls him his brother. Shut! Shut, he should be! 
And he's on the road, so. <laughs> Now listen to me, ye people. Mm. And lend a friendly ear. And lend a friendly ear, for I tell a tale by hill and dale that ye must surely hear. Of a damsel... Of a damsel fair... In deep despair... In deep despair... Caught in the dragon's... That's right. Caught in the dragon's claw. Bruno, you may not have noticed, as you're so rarely with us, but everybody else knows their lines already. I almost know them, Miss Knightley. Just because you're leaving school in a few weeks doesn't mean that you can stop using your brain altogether. Even farmers have to learn something, you know. Yes, Miss Knightley. It's just this beginning bit, being in sort of poetry. What do you mean, sort of poetry? Well, you wouldn't call it real poetry, would you? <laughs> no, I suppose I wouldn't. I suppose I'd call it verse. Do you think it's a good verse? If you feel you've got better things to do, Bruno, I'm sure that someone else would be glad to do your part. I'll know it by the concert, Miss Knightley. You can rely on me. I'm relieved to hear that, Bruno. Just turn around. That's it. You're the wrong way around. Just hit these pieces. Now, now, hold on to those. No, I need you all Excuse over there. I'm sorry, I don't know. I, uh, now, I now try these on. Excuse me. No, no. There we are. Now, there, does yeah. anybody else need shoes? Can you just let me know if anybody needs no, shoes? No. Put up your hands no, now. Right. Oh, that's right. Oswald, now we need I have asked you not to keep before I tell a tale. And now we have a little play for you, performed by the pupils who will be leaving school this year. Thank you. List to me, ye people. Cannot fail. That he must surely hear. To listen to and to hear of a handsome knight and a damsel fair and a dragon fierce in a frightful lair and a small town where terror stalked and people slept and talked and walked. And the king's own son, the dragon snared, left the ragged fleece of the rightful heir. Oh, all ye people, young and old, this story strange, it must be told.
there at the beginning, all by yourself. That was very good. And you say it all by yourself. Good, Oh, Bruno! Oh, it was so very good you were. Ah, your parents must be proud. Have you met Miss Langspiegel? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good boy, yeah. <laughs> How'd you make it all up so quickly? Quickly? You could have given a cart through some of those pauses. It just sort of came to me. What, when nothing else would? Well, it was just as good. I thought it was better. I thought it was the best part of the whole play. Good evening, Mr. Vinton. No, no, please. Don't get up. So, did you enjoy the concert? The concert? Good, yeah. Very good. Bruno put in quite a clever performance one way and another. Yeah. Well, uh, I myself wasn't one for play acting. No, I don't suppose you were. Mr. Gunter, I've been wanting to have a chat with you. I do think it would be a terrible waste for a boy like Bruno to leave school at 14 just to become a farmer. A waste? Of his talents. I think that he should go to high school. He wastes his talents when he becomes a farmer. So a crutch! And I want your advice, Miss Knightley. I ask for it. Have a nice evening. Good. Very good. Bruno. There's something I must tell you. Yes, Dad? It was a very good job you did, looking after the farm while I was away. Not everybody makes a good farmer. It takes a lot to learn. Dad, I don't want to go to high school. Honest. Lottie should be with us. She'd be here if she could, Mum. For 18 years, we never come here without Lottie. She will come, Anna. She will come. Fox had a go at my lambs last night. A fox, huh? Yeah. A dog it is, I am telling you. Same as our turkeys, he kills for the sake of killing. Yeah. Must be a fox. Killed seven lambs. Should another fox. The police is dog. The old fox. <laughs> Welcome, my brothers and sisters. We will now sing him five, six. Three.
way things were before. Some harvest food. 